Okay, okay, okay. Hey, my dudes. Um, we're gonna be answering this guy's question real quick. Um, uh, so I was watching this video, and um, I saw this question. Uh, what do you think about the video of the headphone show where DMS said the High Senior Mega Five EST is the best IEM in the world? Now, if we look at the High Senior Mega Five EST and then my diffuse field in-game target here, we can see it's extremely close to my target. And DMS saying this, watch. In this box right here is the closest thing I've ever experienced to perfection in an IEM. So again, my target is perfection. And um, I recommend the SimGuide EM6L, which we see here in blue, purple, pur yeah. Can we change the color to something better? No, of course not. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so my earbud, the SimGuide EM6L that I recommend, is basically the Mega 5 EST, but slightly brighter. And uh, it looks like the, the treble could possibly be actually better. So, you know, I don't know why this mm -hmm. DMS is so qualified and loved in the world, you know? What the hell was that? Because... You know, when we look at this, um, the SimGuide M6Ls go all the way. The smooth, oh, god damn, I just traced over that. It was smooth as crap. If I trace over the high senior and the treble, I mean, again, like, it's fine, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I get into trouble, it gets a little bit lumpy, and just a little bit more lumpy. A little bit more deteriorated up in here. Like if I trace over the uh, SimGot EM6Ls, it's a bit smoother than this lumpy, funky piece of crap. So, you know. DMS has always had really bad takes on audio, like uh, talking crap about, um, you know, things um, like um, talking crap about the biodynamic DT990s when, um, you know, yeah, when they have fresh pads, when, when, when the, you know, the biodynamic DT990 have fresh pads, we can see in purple here. You know, he, he's constantly crapping mm -hmm. on them. You know. Oh, they have these, you know, peaks in the treble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Terrible. Terrible. Oh, no. And then, you know, again, let's just hide the M6L for a second here. And then, you know, you give it a few... Um, Give it a few months, and uh, with worn ear pads, and oh my god, you know, the, the, this color selection is terrible. I just want to say that. Um, dark mode color. Um. No light mode. We're gonna be we we we'll use light mode because this is just terrible. Okay, so you know the biodynamic DT nine nineties are that close to perfection. You know, just a little bit brighter than the high seniors. You know, and then again, he said um, that he really really loved the tigers. We're just kind of. Uh, can we find the tiger? Tony the tiger? He said the tigers were amazing. You know, he, he, he thinks these two headphones and earbuds are the best things in the world. You know? And if we look in the treble, it's a bit wavy, it's a bit lumpy. Um, terrible on both of them. They, they both have the same lumpiness. Except this huge peak right here on the tiger. You know? And again, this is what he thinks is the best. Let's let's look at this. He thinks these two things are like mm -hmm. the best thing since sliced bread. Okay. 
And what I think is the best thing since sliced bread is DT990s with warnier pads and the SimGot EM6L. So I think these two things are the best thing since sliced bread. You know, I think these two are the, the best. Okay. And he thinks they're, you know, the, 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 the I mean, I mean, do you, the, he, he, he talks out of his ass because these, both of these things match my target exponentially well, you know, to an obscene degree. So this is what he thinks is amazing right here. DMS loves this crap, you know, and, but he hates the DT990s. N terrible. Terrible. Ew. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, you know? Let's talk about it. All to that comfort for me is not been. Isn't, but not bro center of the average listener preference range right where our vocals sit. We dip back down as we approach the peak of ear gain between two and a half and three kilohertz. This is probably why vocals sound a little bit smoother. We pretty much land right on the line around four kilohertz. And from there up, we go up and down a little bit within the range without ever falling off too hard. Hey, hey, the tallest peak on these I is- I love how he talks about the lumpiness and the highs. We just go up and down a bit around seven ish kilohertz and from there it seems relatively calm in the upper treble this is relatively. a relatively flavored frequency response it's definitely not dead on flat dead on neutral but it is pretty dang close also and this is within a tolerance that this very well could just be matching up to my personal hrtf something else worth noting is how close mega 5 est measures to things like Dusk. A number of similarities. Dusk has been a pretty well-received IEM, though it- I hate how they review this stuff with their stupid tolerance. But, I mean, again, DMS is, is nutty as hell. He, you know, will say things that measure almost identical or, you know, or, you know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a shame. It's a shame uh, when you see this kind of hypocrisy where DMS hates the DT990s. Yet it, you know, measures better than the Tigers and, you know, measures just like what he thinks is near perfection with worn, but, you know, with worn ear pads, it's ridiculous. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.